The research surrounding nicotine use is well known. The earlier you get someone hooked, the more likely you are to have a longtime customer. Four out of five smokers say they started smoking before the age of 21. So targeting the next generation is key. And lawmakers say tobacco and nicotine companies are targeting, but not in the cartoon Joe Camel ways of the 80s and 90s. Instead of, you know, getting them through cigarettes, uh, which is not really that socially acceptable anymore among young people, uh, they've decided a different way to do it. They are using nicotine candies and gummy bears and growing in popularity flavored vaping products, which the state's health director is calling a public health emergency. We know that the number of high schoolers that are our vaping increased 78% in just one year. And more worrisome, the amount of middle schoolers increased by 48%. The state proposal calls for Ohio to join the dozen other states that have raised the minimum age to buy tobacco and alternative nicotine products to 21. Something else the state agrees needs to be addressed is the money that is spent on cessation and prevention, which is roughly a third of what it was just a decade ago. Sadly, when we had the tobacco settlement, you know, a number of years ago, uh, that money was spent. Uh, I'm sure it was spent on good things, but it was not spent on as much on cessation as, it, frankly, it should have. So they are calling on the legislature to tax vaping products the same way they tax cigarettes and fill back in some of that money that's been taken away over the years for cessation and prevention efforts. John Kasich, News 5.